All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go over some uh, calculating adjustment factor here. Um, go with me on this. All right, remember what adjustment factor is. Adjustment factor is, is a factor that we apply when we have uh, more than three current carrying conductors in a raceway or cable. Okay, um, if we have, remember, a conductor uh, in use creates heat. If we bundle them all together inside a conduit, it's going to increase the heat. So we need to compensate for that. So we have this adjustment factor. The first thing I want to familiarize you with is this table, uh, NEC table 31015B16. A couple things we've got to go over here. Um, you have your wire size chart here, and you have your wire size chart here. Okay, copper in the middle. I'm sorry, aluminum over here, copper over here. We have our types of insulation in three different columns. Uh, types of insulation in three different columns to what they correspond with, whether it be copper or aluminum. Then the three insulations also correspond to the temperature rating, 60, 75, and 90. All right, 60, 75, and 90. Um, remember to pick an insulation or a wire off this chart. It has to meet the three criteria, right? It's got to be a conductor rated up to 2,000 volts. It's got to be, or no more than 2,000 volts, I should say. It's um, not more than three current carry conductors in a raceway and based on an ambient temperature of 30 degrees. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you that because we're discussing adjustment factor, we are going to exceed the three current carrying conductors. But in order to do that, you have to understand this first. Remember, these are all amperages. So if I say, for example, that I want to know how many amps a number eight THHN can handle, I'm going to look for number eight on this side and I'm going to look for THHN, which is right here, okay, So I'm, and I'm going to make them meet. So number 8, THHN is good to 55 amps, okay? On the copper side, let's say I'm looking for um, uh, type THWN, which is right here, and I want to know how much a 1 aught is good to. So I've got 1 aught, and I just found THWN here. So 1 aught THWN would be good to 120 amps. Okay, do you guys follow how that works? That's going to be important. Um, the chart that we'll be looking at most today or in this category or in this uh, assignment is your ampacity reduction chart here, okay? This is actually in the code book. It's NEC table 31015B3A. Um, but to make our lives easier, it's right here in this. Okay, so now let's um, look down to the first one together. Right, it says what size UF wire and copper is needed to feed a 125 amp service sub panel installed in a detached garage in a conduit with six current carrying conductors. Okay, so the important information we're going to need to know is the um, obviously we need 125 amps, and then we know that we're looking for UF, and we know that we're looking for copper, and then the adjustment factor is going to be because we have more than three because we have six. All right, the first thing I want to go look for is that I have 125 amps in UF. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top here, and I'm looking for type UF insulation, which is right here. Okay, so I'm going to be in this column now looking for amperage, and we're looking for 125 amps. So I'm going to scroll down this, and would you look at that? I have 125 amps, of, so a 1 aught is good to 125 amps. So over here now, I'm going to write 1 aught UF for the type, and that is good to 125 amps, okay? So far, so good. But now remember, in that question, I said that we're going to need six current carrying conductors. Well, six is more than the three that are in our table above, so I have to compensate for that. So now I'm going to go to this chart right here, okay, and I see that I have six conductors. So right here, ampacity reduction for more than three current carrying conductors. Number of current carrying conductors, I have six. So I have to supply an 80% adjustment factor. Quick tip for you guys, if you just do 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.45, 0 0.4, and 0.35 as your multiplier, that's all you got to do. So going with what we just said there, I'm going with six. And point, I have an 80% adjustment factor, so I'm going to take my 125 and multiply it by 0.8 for my 80%. 
that is going to equal, let's see if I can do this on the screen with you guys. All right, that is going to equal 125 times 0.8 equals 100. So 80% of 125 is 100, okay? Not going to work for us um, because I need 125 amp service, okay? So now I need to move on. So my next step in this is to go up to 1 aught. Right, that's the next size up. We just did it. Uh, I'm sorry, we just did one aught. One aught at 125. Now I need to go to a two aught at 145. So I'm going to write two dash zero UF because that's the kind of insulation at 145 amps. All right, but that is also going to be by 80 percent because that is the adjustment factor. So I'm going to come and I'm going to go 145 times 0.8 is equal to 116 amps. Still not good enough. All right, so I got to go up now. We just were at 2 aught at 145. Now I'm going to go to 3 aught at 165. So I'll say 3 aught UF at 165 amps times the 80% adjustment factor, which will give me... 165, I'm sorry, 165 times 0.8 equals 132. Okay, so now for our first question here, I have 132 amps, which is more than the 125 we need. All right, so I need a 3 aught UF conductor. Okay, so the way I'm going to input that into my question here is I'm going to say that I need a number 3 aught UF capitalized copper. Okay? I hope that helped you get through your adjustment factor problem. Um, apply the same method, right? No matter what insulation I give you and what, uh, what number of conductors I give you. Apply the methods in hand. Just make sure you keep track of your copper versus your aluminum side and you uh, take your time and apply the numbers appropriately. All right. Good luck.